Hi everyone, welcome to Glow with Grace. This is a mouse update, so if anyone's watching this who has rodent issues, probably better to turn off now. Um, I have two mouse stories to share with you today. One is that it is the first birthday of my mouse friend Kinka today, April the 28th. Um, if you haven't heard me talk about Kinka before, he is a little guy, I'll try and show him to you, who um, I found around this time last year, May the 7th, 2013, I found him and four of his siblings orphaned at the side of the road, just like strewn around, just crying. Uh, and I took them in and I did my best to try and help them to survive and Kinka was the only survivor. And now he's a year old, so I'm really, really happy. And he's huge, I'm so happy, like he's doing really well. Um, apparently in the wild, the average life expectancy of a mouse is five months and in captivity it can be like two years, so he's doing really good. Um, I'll try and show him to you. And the other mouse story is, I have two more. <laughs> yeah, I just have like the craziest mouse karma ever. Um, and I just have come across so many orphaned baby mice since starting to live here in Ecuador. Um, Kinka was the first one who I managed to su help survive last year. Um, and this year, Two and a half weeks ago, I suddenly just found another four of them. Um, this time, our cats were actually playing with them, which was just horrible. Uh, I just heard like this, you know, all too familiar squeak, 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 squeak. Oh my goodness. I ran to see what was happening. And our cats had four of them on the floor, just like batting them around, you know, like didn't want to even eat them, just playing with them. Um, and I grabbed them all and brought them in here to try and help them to survive. Um, and they were tiny, oh my goodness. Each one was like half the size of my little finger. Really, really tiny. I believe they were actually exactly a week old when I found them. Um, they were, you know, just out of being pink. They had like their first tiny layer of fur. Um, eyes closed, ears closed, you know, just tiny babies and like covered in blood and little cuts and stuff because the cats were like batting them around the nightmare um so yeah i i found those guys two and a half weeks ago and began you know just caring for them around the clock because that's what it requires you've got to feed them like every kind of hour and a half two hours around the clock um and two of them survived two of them didn't make it um it's the way it goes, unfortunately, it's really challenging to help such tiny, tiny animals to survive without their mothers. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm happy, I'm really happy that I got kind of like a 50% success rate this time around, helping these two little guys to survive. Actually, I don't know if they're guys or girls. Um, I couldn't quite work that out yet with these two. I think they might both be guys and Kinka from last year, I believe, is also a guy. Male mice apparently all have to live separately from each other, otherwise they fight to the death. So um, next week, these two new ones are going to be four weeks old, which is considered officially an adult <laughs> for mice at four weeks old. So uh, I got to separate them next week, probably, just to be really careful because... You know, if one of them's female and one of them's male, that's not going to be a good situation. If they're both male, then they could fight to the death. If they're both female, they could live together, but I don't think they are both female. So the main resource that's been super helpful for me um, in learning about how to care for these mice is a website called The Fun Mouse, thefunmouse.com. You have to put the the at the beginning or you'll end up on a different website, thefunmouse.com. Amazing resource. Thank you so much to whoever runs that website. Uh, I couldn't have helped these guys to survive without you. Um, and these two little guys just weaned yesterday, I'm super happy to say, because it was really intense. It was a, it's like having a newborn, you know, like just around the clock trying to give them this milk mixture and just trying to help them survive. And um, what I was feeding them, if you're curious, was 
raw goat's milk. We're really blessed to be able to get raw goat's milk or cow milk or whatever really easily around here. Uh, so I had raw goat's milk and then I mixed it with the local sugar cane. So what I would do is I would get a little bowl, put some of the sugar cane in there, um, put a little bit of hot water to like mix it up, dilute it, um, and then add in the raw goat's milk and then I would put it in a dropper bottle and just like dropper it into their mouths. And uh, yeah, that was their kind of milk substitute. And now, you know, they're just feeding themselves. Now I just put food in there, in their, in their house and they're doing fine. Um, and I feel like the most important thing that I have learned about caretaking for these mice from all these different experiences is heat. I feel like keeping them warm is the most important thing um, which isn't necessarily emphasized that much, I feel like. Um, but as soon as I found these four guys two and a half weeks ago, um, I got one of our dehydrators, brought it in here, set it up, um, and I put their box like on top of the dehydrator just to keep them like warm all the time. You know, I just had the dehydrator on like the normal kind of, you know, 100 to 115 temperature range. Uh, and then, you know, they're on top of that in their little box and that keeps them warm enough. Um, and you know that and feeding around the clock and then you've also got to help them to go to the bathroom all the time because that's something that their mother usually does you know baby mice can't go to the bathroom by themselves until they're older so you have to use q-tips and like stimulate them to go to the <laughs> bathroom so it's been really intense um, you know just going through all of that the last couple of weeks and I'm, I'm really glad that two of them survived. You know, it was really sad when the other two passed over. Um, but unfortunately, that's the way it goes. You know, it's, it's really, really challenging trying to help these little tiny people survive. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful that these two are still here. They actually have kind of a, uh, a hair loss thing going on right now. They're scratching them, they've been scratching themselves. Um, I believe it's because I put some wood shavings in their home and I didn't realize I read on the fun mouse actually that um, they can often have allergies with wood stuff so I removed that and hopefully the the hair thing's gonna get worked out now um, so I guess I'm gonna try and show you either some pictures or some video right now of these guys let me see what I can get All right, I'm not having much success now trying to show you guys Kinka. This is like his little house that he lives in inside his nice, beautiful cage. Um, he's right in here, but he's being really shy. He doesn't want to come out. I don't know if you can see him at all in there. He's hiding right in there. Kinka. You know, obviously he's a nocturnal animal and uh, I just kind of woke him up. He's not used to being awake in the daytime and he's just like, he doesn't like it. So I'm sorry, I can't really show you him right now. But let's see if we can see the baby guys. Okay, here's one of the little guys. You can see he's got hair loss issues going on. This one's actually really friendly. There's two of them. And uh, this one's much friendlier than the other one. The other one, he, it's like he wants to be friendly, but he's a little bit like, <laughs> like scared as well. So here's, this one is the one who, I believe his name is Zebedee, and I don't know what the other one's name is yet. Are you saying hi to the people? Are you so friendly? Wow, they really grew a lot just in the last couple of days of me not feeding them, like, feeding them around the clock milk. I can see the size difference, because you know, I was seeing them like, multiple multiple times a day and I didn't see them for a couple of days in the same way you're doing good hey is your hair growing back a bit you got some funny hair things going on I'm sorry Kink is a year old today can you believe it he didn't want to come and say hi he's being shy all right well that's the mouse update for now <laughs> I really hope um, everything goes great with these guys and they have long healthy lives like Kinka and uh, yeah I'll probably separate them out next week so everyone's gonna have their own home and 
pray that this is the end of my mouse karma. Let's see how it goes. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time from the mouse mayhem world. Ciao!